You came to us one day from far away. No one was sure how long you would say. stay. The danger, we Northerners say. Yet who would dare to help the spare? Why, the community of Cochrane would care. For the spare brought with him a majestic Arctic air and flare. As no one could quite ascertain how daily he would entertain to captivate. And like any good teacher, he would amaze and motivate. We nicknamed him Nanook. And all the children came to play with him, or with you, sorry, you called Achichatstok, which is an Inuit word which means those that go under the sea. Thy heart shakings of spiritual urge made me open my eyes. 
Lo, there in the crystal pool of peace, thou dost show me my face to be like thine. Now I know I am the lion of cosmic power. I will no more bleat in fear of weakness and suffering. I will roar with the vibrant power of the Almighty. Bounding in the forest of experiences, I will seize the little creatures of vexing worries, the timid fears, the wild hyenas of disbelief, and devour them ruthlessly. O lion of immortality, roar through me thine all-conquering power of wisdom. Very good. You want to read another one? between black and white and the best thing you've ever done for me is to help me take my life less seriously it's only life after all chills and winter blues, the staying warmth and staying in, meetings indoors, for outside is cold. Then comes the spring sunshine. The sun breaks in like a door open wide, with a burst of sunlight that lasting and warm. 
bringing smiles back on people's faces while in the chilling season it brings us all to hibernate and stay in, not getting out much as weather is cold until the spring sh sunshine brings us back outdoors. Is it a time for new growth? It's a time for new beginning. It is a time for buds to bloom. It is a time for nature to sound its sounds of nature again and again. For all the while when we shelter from the chills, winter is chilling and spring gently is getting ready. For all the new beginnings brought forth from the old of last season's blossom, spring will bring new growth from its roots and bloom again with spring sunshine rays. Spring will start again and a new year to begin it with. That starts with first the spring sunshine. On first days of spring that bring back the smiles to all our faces with warm sun rays of the spring sunshine. Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you who have heard me speak before know that I tend to go with a slightly different motif than some of our artists who we have here. I've spoken on the degradation of parliamentary democracy in Canada, and I've spoken on the role of labor and uh, collective bargaining in a just society. Today I'm going with something a little bit different, but still within the political sphere. And that's the F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. Now I could talk about the cost cover-up going on on trying to make us think that it's $9 billion when the Auditor General says that it's $25 billion. Of course, that only covers 20 of the 36 years of life coming into these aircraft. I could talk about the propaganda that says that the opposition are against any procurement for the military, even though five out of the six fighter aircraft bought since the invention of the jet engine were purchased by parties currently in opposition. Or I could talk about how Nigel Wright, the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, worked for a company affiliated with Lockheed Martin, the company building the planes. Instead, I'm going to focus on something that almost nobody, save Member of Parliament Elizabeth May of the Green Party, has actually mentioned. And that's what the planes are and what they're for. The F-35 is a single-engine aircraft. To compare it to what we have right now, the CF-18, that's half as many engines. The reason why we bought a two-engine airplane is because Canada's really, really big. So, if one engine fails halfway over the Arctic, they still have one left to get them home. The F-35, quite simply put, does not have that contingency. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm going to sing a song. It's not mine, but I'm going to sing Not Pretty Enough, a cappella. Okay. Okay. Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? I live, I breathe, I let it rain on me. I sleep, I wake. I try hard not to break I crave, I love I wait long enough I try as hard as I can Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? I live, 
I feel <coughs> I may believe it's real I fall I freeze I pray down on my knees I hope I stand I take it like a man I try as hard as I Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? What do you see right through me? Why do you see? Why do you see right through me? Why do you see? Why do you see? Why do you see right through me? Never reappear in stone.